Alright guys, I have a very good gaming computer for you today, it's £500, it's an AMD based build and it's a very good PC comparing it to the PC I have now, I wish I could buy this one because the parts are so cheap now and basically you will enjoy this build because it's very very cheap, very very good and hopefully you enjoy it and I'll see you later. Alright guys, let's get straight into the build. Alright, for the case we have the Corsair Carbide Spec Series Spec 01 Aggressive Red LED Metal Gaming Case. It's a very, very good case for the price, just under 40 quid. As you can see, it looks very sexy from the front. Of, look at the window and the ventilation, like the vent, it just looks awesome. The DVD drive on the top. There's a video here explaining all about it and what you get to look in inside down here it's just a description there's the airflow and fan mount locations all information here and the good thing about this it can have uh, ATX motherboard so it can have full size motherboards inside this case it's a very good looking case just under 40 quid so let's get to the next part all right the next part is PSU it's a Corsair CXM Builder Series 500 watt power supply a very good power supply for 48 pounds 48.60 actually but yeah you get what I'm saying basically it's a very good power supply 500 watt is plenty for this build so I think that this is suitable for the build let's get on to the next part next part is the motherboard it is the Gigabyte 970A DS3P AM3 plus ATX motherboard this is a full size motherboard and it is quite popular as you can see the ratings are about four and a half out of five so it's pretty good to be fair and the price is just over 50 pounds as you can see this description you can see the board it's got two PCIe slots so you can have two uh, graphics card you can uh, there's four slots of RAM and there's your CPU slot so it's very very good motherboard for the price all right let's get into the next part the next part is the AMD FX8350 Black Edition 8 core 4 GHz pile driver. This processor is amazing. Look at the ratings 4.8 out of 5. That is just stunning. 8 core as well at 4 GHz. You can run any game with this. This CPU would amaze you at the, the power that it can do. Simply, this is. About £130, it, you get what you pay for basically. Alright, guys, get into the next part is the Corsair Memory Vengeance Blue 8 Gigabyte DDR3. It's a very, very good memory for £65. It's 8 Gigabyte 2, sticks of 4, DDR3, dual channel, and this basically is enough for your games. 8 Gigabyte is plenty, you don't need to go over with your RAM and spend too much money on your RAM. 65 quid is enough, so. For this is a very good piece of RAM. All right, next part is a graphics card. It's F XFX Radeon R7 260X 2 gig 2 gigabyte PCI Express. It's a very good graphics card. From the price, it's about seventy six pound, and you can see that it's got it's quite a small graphics card. It only has one fan. It is two gigabyte, and as you can see down here. It's all description about what you can do, and it's very good to be fair, because it holds two DVI, so you can have two monitors. You can play more than two monitors. I'm just saying, there's two DVI things there for you to have your monitors. And overall, it's a really, really, really good card. As you can see, the rating is about 4.5. Right, the so next part is the hard drive it is a Seagate to one terabyte SATA 3 hard drive 7200 RPM 40 pounds for one terabyte is amazing and it's just a box standard hard drive really you can really go up to any uh, 2 terabyte 500 gigabyte, 500 gigabyte. Yeah, got a bit more word I don't know. Uh, you can get any type of hard drive you want but just preferences as to how big you want it and the next one is is a choice really if you want an SSD you can choose it for about £45 and you get 120 gigabyte. It's very good. Look at the ratings. It's 4.8. And basically, it's 
it's so fast SSDs but you just want to make that choice if you want to spend an extra 50 quid on a SSD it's up to you really right now the last part is the DVD drive and if you want a DVD drive you're only gonna to have to pay like over 10 pounds for one because if you want to install Windows on it you need to get a DVD drive but if you don't do that you need to install the memory stick but if you install a DVD drive it's future proof and you can download games through it and software because when you want to download the software sometimes you need a DVD drive and it's, it's no point of not getting a DVD, DVD drive it's logical basically you just need to buy one and that's all the parts I've gone over everything and this part this build costs about hmm 463 pounds wow that's a lot of money not jokes <laughs> that is nothing that is nothing 463 pounds wow that is stunning to be fair I'm surprised it came to this when I was choosing all the parts I expected to go to 700 pounds this you can play literally game any games you want it just it was amazing alright guys thanks a lot for watching today and uh, good luck with whatever you're doing and, and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.